The monarch is said to be deeply hurt at the criticism against the palace unleashed by his youngest son and his wife. But despite his torment, Charles's love for Harry trumps all and he has not given up hope of eventually building bridges between the Windsor's warring factions, insiders have said. The palace is maintaining a dignified silence at Harry and Meghan's Netflix documentary and will continue that policy when the Duke of Sussex's book Spare is released in the new year. Sources have made it clear the King does not want to strip Harry and Meghan of their titles and that in time a meeting may be able to take place to try and heal the rift ahead of his coronation in May. The hope is that once the dust has settled the family will be able to move on and put the past behind them, a palace source said. The source said of the King, he loves both his sons and hopes brings eternal for a happier future all round. If some can stop fixating on the past. Asked about the possibility of the king extending an olive branch, they added, let's see how things evolve. Charles's magnanimous attitude shows a deep compassion and forgiveness in the wake of the Netflix documentary which saw Harry accusing his father of saying things that just simply weren't true, William of being terrifying and palace officials briefing against him and Meghan. Royal Lorthy Christopher Wilson said, Imagine the hurt feelings of the king today. He has lost his son twice over, as a beloved member of his family, and as a valuable member of Team Windsor. That Harry has cast himself out, and done his best to trash the first months of his father's reign, is unforgivable. But you're left with the overwhelming belief that, despite all, Charles still loves Harry and would welcome him back into the fold. We are seeing signs of compassion in the sovereign that maybe we never saw before. But for sure, he must be hurting inside. The documentary has triggered calls for the couple to be stripped of their Duke and Duchess titles and last night a one-poll survey commissioned by The Express showed 62% of those questioned think Harry and Meghan should relinquish them. Only 25% said they should keep them with 13% saying they did not know. Sources close to the king have made it clear that he will not support MPs who want to strip any members of his family of their titles. Downing Street has said that Prime Minister Rishi Sunak is also not in favour of such action. Tory MP Bob Seeley wants to amend the 1917 Titles Deprivation Act to give the Privy Council power to downgrade Harry and Meghan's royal status. But without government support, his efforts are doomed and constitutional experts have warned anyway that it would be technically difficult to amend the 1917 Act, which was aimed specifically at a handful of German aristocrats fighting against Britain in the First World War. In the six-episode Netflix series, Harry, confirmed that he and Meghan had offered to relinquish their titles when they first told their family in January 2020 that they intended to quit their senior royal roles. There were calls yesterday for them to give up their titles and their royal status. The distinguished royal biographer and historian Hugo Vickers said, I think they should but I don't think they will. He praised the king and the rest of the family for carrying on regardless and insisted they were right not to react publicly to the Sussex's complaints. The less said the better.